Hi everybody, welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. I am back at Renuance. I'm here for my one year checkup with Dr. Ford. I cannot believe it, it has been one year. All right, everyone, before we jump into my doctor's appointment, I wanted to take some time to talk to you. I've had the last year to reflect on my surgery and how it went and whether I'm happy with my decision and a lot of things I learned along the way. So I thought that I would take some time to put down some notes which I've done so that I can share with you the things that I have decided and found um, as to how I feel about my surgery, whether I'm happy with having the surgery, or not and a lot of tips and things that I have learned along the way that I think would be helpful for you that you need to consider. First of all, you need to be able to have at least one week of downtime. So whether you're in school or working or a parent, a mother maybe caring for your children, you need to make sure that you have at least one week of time that you can simply devote to resting and getting better. No going back to work too soon, no going back to school too soon because anything like that can cause you problems. And I have, I have to show you, I have a little friend here climbing up my leg while I'm doing this. <laughs> you go over there, Oliver. <laughs> so, make sure you take plenty of time off. But, when you are looking for a doctor, do not just meet with one doctor. Even if someone recommends someone to you, make sure you meet with at least two doctors. The doctors that are going to do this surgery for you offer free consultations, so there is no charge for you to meet with multiple doctors. The first doctor I met with, I thought was fine. And after meeting with him, I actually had decided I was going to have the surgery and I thought that would be just fine to go with him. The price was reasonable and everything seemed great. However, I did decide, Bill and I talked about it and decided that we needed to at least meet with one more doctor before we made a final decision. The second doctor I met with was incredibly different than the first doctor. The first doctor was only going to meet with me two times after my surgery the next day and two weeks later, and then anything beyond that I was gonna have to pay for. The second doctor I met with wants obviously to even have a year later appointment with me to see how I'm doing. If you watched any of my videos about this, you saw how many times I've met with her along the way. She just wanted to make sure that I was healthy and doing well. She wants to continue meeting with me every year from this point forward, and part of that is because she wants to share with me any of the things that have changed from the FDA as far as when I need to get MRIs, how soon I need to change them out again, and things like that which is something else you have to take into consideration if you're going to have this surgery. They do say that after 10 years, you should have your implants removed and a new set put in. So you need to know that and be prepared that if you have this surgery, you're potentially going to have to have it again and maybe more than even two times. So take that into consideration in case you do have to have the surgery again in the future, it is a possibility. There's also a lot of prep work in getting ready for your surgery. Most doctors are going to want you to have some blood work done and possibly even if you haven't had a mammogram, have a mammogram. I will tell you that they will try to tell you that it takes forever to get in for these appointments, but if you're persistent and you call and you tell them, I have a surgery set, I need to get in, they're really good about getting you in. I scheduled my surgery one month out and I had plenty of time to get everything done that I needed and they were shocked. But if you're nice and you call the places and try to get in, they're really, really good about working with you. So keep that in mind. The other thing is they are going to prescribe medication for you. They're going to prescribe pain medication and they're also going to prescribe an antibiotic. The antibiotic is necessary. I didn't really want to take the antibiotic, but it is necessary to make sure that you don't 
don't get any type of infection. So make sure that you fill your prescriptions. I didn't take any of the pain medication. I did fill the prescription so that I had it in case I needed it, but I was able to manage with Tylenol. This is Tylenol PM, so it was able to help me sleep. This was all I needed. I didn't take any of the pain medication that was prescribed to me because I had fears about how it would make me feel and I really just didn't want to have to go through the process of taking pain medication. I have a kitty messing with my camera stand. Come up here. I really didn't want to go through the process of taking the pain medication and wondering how it was gonna make me feel. So I ahead of time went and got Tylenol PM and this was all I needed. It actually was enough. But with the antibiotics, they upset my stomach so much. They made me really, really sick. So I ended up having to send Bill to the store to get me probiotics. So make sure you have some probiotics with live cultures on hand and ready for use in case you need them with your antibiotics. The other thing I found very helpful was a neck pillow. This neck pillow potentially saved my life. It was so hard to move, to hold my head up, everything. And this neck pillow, it was amazing. It helped me to keep my head stable. I was able to fall asleep at any time while I was watching TV or anything like that and resting. This was super, super helpful because you have to sit up most of the time for at least the first few days you even have to sleep this way so a neck pillow made it so that i could sleep more comfortably it was a lifesaver make sure you have someone there to help you through the recovery process the entire time i of course had my husband bill he took off work so that he was able to tend to my every need no matter what i needed but you need to make sure you have someone there to help you you need to be getting up and walking every two hours to avoid any type of blood clots and you need somebody there to help you to get things for you to check on you to make sure you're doing okay so make sure that you have someone available and there with you during your recovery process now on to the after surgery process so I am completely happy with my surgery. I would do it all over again. I loved my doctor. As I've told you in the past, I went to Renewance in Murrieta, California, and I had Dr. Rachel Ford. I wouldn't go to anyone else or recommend anyone else. So if you're in this area and you're considering it, go meet with her. At least have a free consultation with her, but she's amazing. I am so happy with my outcome. I am so happy with my surgery and I would have it again and again but there have been some things that i have had to learn and do a little bit different and the number one thing of course as soon as i was out of surgery my surgery was end of may so right away i mean it was only a month later and it's summer and now i'm having to find a bathing suit I've gone all my life buying the same size bathing suit. It's easy, I go pick out a bunch of them, take them into the dressing room, most of them fit just perfectly. I buy the ones I like the best and there I go. This was a very different process though because I had to find my size and I had to figure out what type of bathing suit was going to fit me the best. But I have been very, very happy with the bathing suits I've found and my outcome. Hey, excuse me. My eyes are up here. <laughs> so this is my very favorite bathing suit of all the bathing suits that I've purchased, tried on, everything. This is my favorite one. I love the way it fits. I love the bottoms and I absolutely love the coverage. The color is amazing. It fits me perfect. I have learned now though that I have to get a different size top than bottoms just because things have changed. My bottoms haven't changed any, but my top size has. So I have had to make some adjustments to the sizing that I'm finding when I'm going into the dressing room, of course. And you know, I've had to take in multiple sizes in order to even find the size bathing suit that is going to fit me in different styles. But it has been a fun, fun trip going every time we go shopping now. If there are bathing suits around, I love trying them on. I feel so confident. I love the way they fit and I am so, so happy with my outcome of my surgery. So this is my number one favorite bathing suit. This is the one that I wear the most and I absolutely love the best, but I have a second one that I just got recently I wanna show you. All right, so this is the second one and I love this one as well. This is definitely my second favorite. I just got this, so I haven't really had 
much of an opportunity to wear it. I've only been able to wear it once, but I really love the fit. This one I actually got at Hurley and it came with matching shorts. These little guys here, which are really, really cute as well. And the first bathing suit I just showed you, I got at Volcom. So I have found that those two places have great selection for me and they fit me really well. The other thing that you're going to want to make sure you have a lot of, but you're not going to be able to go buy them until after you have your surgery, are sports bras. I love wearing sports bras. I don't like wearing regular bras at all. I never have but I don't have to now. But every once in a while, I want a little extra support. And I have found that sports bras give me exactly what I need. So I have a ton of different sports bras, lots of different shapes. So of course there's one like this. I got this one from Adidas. This one has a really cute little back. And so these are also really cute to just wear with a little tank top over the top. Even if they have the low sleeves, you can just wear them like that and you don't have to wear a bra and it is so much more comfortable and so much more relaxing. So look for sports bras. My doctor did tell me that for the first year I needed to wear a bra almost every day if not every day. And like I said, I don't care for wearing bras so a sports bra was a very, very good option for me. The other thing that worked really well for me were these lined tank tops. It's just a little spaghetti strap tank top line on the inside so this actually kind of cups and holds everything in place almost like a bra might and it's really really soft and comfy and it's something that I can wear on days that I really don't want to wear a bra but for the first year like I said she had wanted me to wear a bra as often as possible so of course I listened to her and did what I was told I have been so happy with my outcome I would recommend it to anyone that's interested. I actually wish I would have done it a long time ago. But if you are considering it, I hope that the things that I shared with you will help you through the process. Watch lots of YouTube videos. There are a lot of girls on YouTube, including myself, that put their process on YouTube so that people that were interested could see and make a decision and think about whether it was something that would work for them or not. I am so happy with my decision and I am really, really thrilled that I finally made the decision to go get this done. All right, let's jump to the doctor's appointment. Let's head on in. I still, I cannot believe it's been an entire year. So we're gonna go in, check in with her, make sure everything's going okay and make sure there aren't any problems to be concerned about. Let's go. All right, I got my robe on. I'm just waiting for Dr. Ford to come in. They're actually gonna do some images and check everything out with their video vectra machine here. We had to come in and use this before I had my operation, and now they're gonna do it again just to check everything out and see that everything looks good, so we're just waiting for her to come in now. Okay, so we switched rooms. We came into this room that has a black background for her to take some other pictures that she wanted. I just finished with her. Everything looks great. Everything's going really, really well. So she wants to see me back in a year. I cannot believe, I still cannot believe that it's already been a year since my surgery, but everything's going wonderfully. So at least I now get to wait another year before I have to come back and see her unless I have any problems. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed my video. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.